So we've actually got some breaking news. <laughs> the Broncos, according to Ian Rapport, are officially moving on from Russell Wilson, closing a tough chapter for Denver. So we got to talk about this. I have been saying yep. for a long time I have less than no interest in Russell Wilson as an option for the Patriots. But it's got to get talked about, right? He's on the market. It needs to be addressed. So do you think, as someone who saw him twice the past couple of years in the division, is he someone that you think an organization like the Patriots should try to bring in, or do you think that it's just not really a great fit? Absolutely not. I think that the Patriots are one of the least likely teams to bring in a guy like Russell Wilson. It's a brand new everything, everything. And we've seen Russell Wilson and exactly who he is when it's a brand new everything with Nathaniel Hackett as the head coach. He got fired. During the season, let's not forget, in large part because Russell Wilson did whatever he wanted to do in that offense. It was whatever he wanted to do. We thought he was Aaron Rodgers over there trying to do everything, and he got the head coach fired. Now, Nathaniel Hackett is not a very good head coach, offensive coordinator. It appears, by everything that we've heard now in New York, that Aaron Rodgers is the offense. <laughs> like, he does everything. So, aside from all of that, Russell Wilson is not in a position – would not be in a position in New England to do anything because they have, like I said, a whole new culture. He himself has his own culture, and he would want things a certain way, as we, we've already seen. So that's a that's a big a big no for me when we're looking at wanting to succeed in New England. Young quarterback, regardless of who who ends up being there, Russell Wilson doesn't uh, doesn't really stir the stir the drink or the uh, soup as you if you're trying to make something really really last a while there. So I'm 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 out on that for sure. Testing my skills on Prize Picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn ten dollars into a thousand dollars with just a few taps. Use the code CLNS for the first deposit match. Up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. If you had to play devil's advocate, what could he potentially bring? Just so we can be, <clears throat> you know, uh, well-rounded and focus on, all right, like he can do this. If for some strange reason the Pats did bring him in, what is something that – or any organization that brings yeah. him in, what's something that they can hang their hat on and say, all right, well, at least he gives us this? It's a one-year period. You bring in a young quarterback, you bring in Russell Wilson, you say, hey, buddy, you aren't going to be here next year. You are here for one season, and we're basically going to use you to show – our young quarterback, what to do, how to prepare. Because honestly, he prepares extremely well. Like he still is a very game-focused player. You know, I think last year he looked in much better shape. He got in better shape from two seasons ago. So we have the work ethic and the drive to get better. Also, maybe you want another high pick next year. You say, hey, Russ, just go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. Um, so really uh, for me, yeah, like it's uh, we're going to draft this young quarterback and then let him grow a little bit. But again, if we're talking like a Jaden Daniels, he's already a little bit older. So that's that that situation does work. If we're we're gonna just go ahead and throw this fire, we're gonna throw a little gasoline on the fire. Say it's JJ McCarthy, <laughs> and it's at number three. Then you say, Hey Russ, we're gonna take you and we're gonna bring you in and let JJ sit a year and learn. And then next year. We're going to take a, oh, another wide receiver high, pair him with a wide receiver he drafted on day two, and we're going to start to cook next year. That's the only real way forward I see you bringing in a guy like Russell Wilson in New England. I also saw a comment uh, in the chat about uh, he brings a great attitude. Maybe oh, yeah, does he? Lynch or Richard Sherman or anybody that was with him in Seattle, even asking people with the Broncos. I'd be very curious to see what the responses would be if you were to say, yeah, Russ brings a great attitude in the locker room. I'm not sure that's true. So, yeah, I think, Dan, you and I on the same page off Russell Wilson. I do not think it should happen. Sure. I don't even see what the benefit would be, quite frankly, especially, like you said, in a new culture where he'd yeah. have to be a mentor to a quarterback. We've seen no evidence that he is someone who can be a type of bridge option. Also, uh, T.C. McCartney, the quarterback's coach, and Alex Van Pelt – don't have experience with him. So yeah. it's not even like you have the Joe Flacco, Jacoby Reset thing where it's like, okay, those are older guys, but there's a link there. So it makes some sense. You know, if you want to bridge, Russ is just pretty out of left field. Don't love that.